freak, freak, uh, phenomenal, just a phenom. In a word, awesome. The guy was the greatest I've ever been around. Probably the most talented guy I've ever seen in my life. He was the greatest defensive player to ever play. Best one ever put on the pad. Lawrence Taylor joined the Giants in 1981 as a highly touted linebacker out of the University of North Carolina. LT would make an immediate impact, taking the league by storm and terrorizing opposing offenses. Once we got into the season and I could see just how effective he was in rushing the quarterback and you know, the quickness and the speed and so forth and how he just changed the game. Then I recognized that we had something really special. Lawrence would be named Defensive Rookie of the Year, and he would form a special bond with then Giants defensive coordinator Bill Parcells. Well, it's my guy, you know, we came together as an assistant, and he was a young draft choice, and a catalytic player, dynamic, easy to coach. That was the great thing about Lawrence. You teach him something, he can take it right with him. Your job when you get a player like that is to let the talent flourish. Be more aggressive on that special now. They'll come back with that. You know that slant counter there? Yeah. Kick it over. I want you to how to play that. Yeah. Kick it. Go, Lawrence. Kick it over. Yeah. LT would take over and become the leader of one of the most feared defensive units the league has ever seen. Teaming up with fellow linebackers Harry Carson, Brad Van Pelt, and Brian Kelly. Brad, Brian, uh, Lawrence, and myself, you know, we're we were the crunch bunch and we were big, strong, fast, and we were able to get after people when the offense broke the huddle and you could see the fear in their eyes and you just felt like you could just smack people around. Hey baby, let's go out there like a bunch of crazy dogs, have some fun. Looking at Lawrence Carroll, I'm like, damn, this guy's moving fast and you get on the field, it's like jumping on the highway uh, trying to merge in, you know, 80-mile traffic going at 30. He was just greatness personified. I mean, this guy did things that we never imagined could be done. I mean, his speed, catching a running back, I mean, a quality all-pro running back from the backside, his power running over 300 pound offensive linemen as if though they were figurines, you know, intimidating quarterbacks to the point where, you know, they wouldn't call signals until they found out where it was 56. He rewrote the entire book and this guy never let up. He was a great competitor. The energy he had drove the team forward. He loved it. And I look back and think, Scoring touchdowns and coming off the field, it was always Lawrence. He was the first guy there. You know, I'm still looking for that next Lawrence Taylor. I haven't seen that guy. Playing with greats such as LT, one of the few guys that could control the game from the defensive side of the bar. I'd never seen the stadium make so much noise when he got on a roll. When he would just sack the quarterback two times in a row then snatched the running back down, and all three of those plays were all him, and then the whole stadium started chanting LT, LT. I still remember that, so those were great times. I remember watching the Giants grow up and, and actually being a big LT fan, but watching the smoke come out of their mouths when they're playing, and all of us rookies, it was like he was walking on water. We all were in such amazement. Like, oh my, that's, that's Ron Taylor, don't, don't, don't stare, don't look, but you couldn't help yourself. I've watched him do things that you just wouldn't believe. Think about the play against the Niners when he brought the ball back for a touchdown. That is bringing it. This guy can do anything you want. That's how talented he was. In the Giants' magical Super Bowl season of 1986, Taylor would be named the league's most valuable player, capturing every defensive accolade possible and making big play after big play en route to leading the Big Blue Wrecking Crew to their first championship in 30 years. The Super Bowl champion of the Giants. Everybody's dream in football. That one time you'll be there. I don't understand it. They said the Giants were dead. Hey, they said the Giants were dead. Hey, I don't understand it. They stuck a fork in us and said we were done. Hey, San Francisco, they're back. We're back. They're back. <laughs>
1990, Lawrence would lead the underdog Giants back to championship glory at Super Bowl 25 in Tampa, solidifying his legacy as one of the greatest Giants ever. The absolute best uh, player that I've had the opportunity to play with. Taylor was a three-time League Defensive Player of the Year, and he was selected to 10 Pro Bowls. LT retired in 1993 with 132 and a half career sacks and was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1999. He will go down in the annals of NFL history as arguably the greatest defensive player ever. Without you guys, there wouldn't have been a Lawrence Taylor, but there wouldn't have been an LT. Thank you very much. Lawrence Taylor, the legendary New York Giant.